and won the game. And uh, probably Salvador conceded. Uh, and obviously they have now they have uh, they have four minutes more for the interruption for the judge uh, investigation. So they have 15 minutes. Obviously the deck of Salvador is quicker than the Faina deck, but obviously the Faina deck is doing a stone forge and butter screen to butter school soon can be very easy to very very quick too so it seems like the uh, the spot removals on faina's side are better uh, are probably better like sword to plowshares probably much better than abrupt decay yeah a bolt also bolt can manage very effective they're all one mana spot removals while the zim american deck has got a few problems um to deal with things yeah uh, Team America is, uh, is quite mana intensive as a deck, and uh, obviously the Blood Moon. And this is a plan. This is what if, if this was the plan of Faina since the, the very last, the very first turn, when he instantly bolted and plowshared the Death Rite Shamans. So he knew that the Blood Moon again in this matchup is a, is a key card, and is if you can, if you can, if you are able to put the Blood Moon in play without uh, a possibility for the opponent to do a decay, uh, it's, it's the key to, to, to win this game. So, um, turning back to what David said at the beginning of, the, of his match, I would say that probably beginning with a Delver and exposing him to a Bolt or a Plosher, uh, it, would, it wouldn't be better than playing the Death Rite Shaman because in this yeah if, you're, if your best if card you is Death Rite Shaman you just don't play best Death Rite Shaman on turn 1 yeah. especially because first because of all first of all matchup. Delver can attack for free um, obviously your opponent has to deal with it you don't have a free mana spell to drop on turn 2 at yeah. the moment in time you don't have to you can you know you can also play like one drop, one drop. You don't have to play like one drop, one drop, yeah. two drop because he didn't Obviously. have cards like uh, him to two rack. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, no, he no, was in no rush to actually play the Death Rite Shaman on turn yeah, one. You know that against the deck which plays Blood Moon, Death Rite Shaman is your very is your MVP. So you 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 don't have to feed the uh, Death Rite Shaman with bolts and plushers. Anyway, here. Uh, We'll start Salvador with Dark Delver and um, and Faina. I don't know if I don't know if the uh, I don't know if is this figure is so effective and uh, so effective against the Faina deck. Let's try another look. Uh, it's time to have a look at the ends. There's another Maligan for Faina. I, I saw some one by you, one Ponder for Salvador. Is Faina not particularly lucky in these games. It's the second time in Maligans, I think six. But as, he, as we say, as we saw before, he is able to recover from the card disadvantage thanks to the to the Blood Moon and do, then to a Jace. With the Silver Bullets that the deck of Salvador doesn't have, and the deck of Salvador is a consistent deck, but it doesn't have Silver Bullets that the deck of Faina have. That right Here's a that right for the third time. Also. Okay, it doesn't have an immediate answer to Death Rage Shaman. That means um, Salvador, Salvador can actually go into turn into Torak plus one drop on turn two. Yeah, if he have a fetch land, he can also do a Liliana. Yes, one one Zoidberg. Uh, Today is a uh, uh, two hundred players for the Legacy tournament. Two hundred two something like that. So on turn two. He's got options. I he think the best option, the best option in this case, yeah. is just play Liliana. Yeah, just smash oh, Liliana on the table and see what happens. Yeah. Especially because you're thinking that your opponent sideboarded out every force of will, or at least a good number of force of wills. Yeah. So he, so he's if got you do have access to Liliana, you just slam Liliana, which he doesn't actually. He just decides to play into Torach. Into Torach, yeah. 
Uh, he's a good anyway in Totoracha because he's a two for one. And uh, now with with Fafaina, that is Gana Maligan, he's um, he's not he's very he's very strong, and he picks a brainstorm and a fetch land, a mini combo, took uh, they into two rush that took away with mini combo brainstorm. And also that fetch shaman attacks for one. Yeah. So that's the thing. He didn't he didn't have a one a one drop like a, a one mana play. Uh, so in that case scenario, I would probably just smash Liliana just to make good use of my mana. Yeah. And also, there's not many ways to deal with Liliana on turn two no. anyway. No, probably oh, he doesn't have a Liliana. Now a fine. I think I saw a Liliana in his hand. Oh okay. Now he's got a ponder in which he sees a fetchland and a stone for Mystic is a is a good ponder. And now uh, we're gonna see Salvador. What he have? I think that Salvador. See, he, he, he does have Liliana. He just he doesn't like to play he Liliana. Doesn't, he doesn't like to play Liliana play when he can. Yeah. Mm, this is he doesn't like to. Also, he always has like two Lilianas, so it's not a big deal. Like.